WDHN is your local election headquarters, and all this week we are speaking with candidates who are competing to become the next Enterprise Mayor. Each night will feature a different question that the candidates will respond to. Tonight marks our third round of interviews. Tonight's question, starting with candidate Bill Baker, goes as follows. Over the past few months, the Enterprise Police Department has investigated several shootings. Is there a crime problem in Enterprise? If so, how do you plan to fix it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, again, we're down 10 officers. When you have fatigued officers on the street because they're having to work overtime, because they don't have those 10 extra bodies, it creates issues, and our city is facing those issues. Uh, couple that with COVID-19 uh, and people having to be inside the home, that those things just multiply. So we do, and, and what, we, what we would do to fix it, again, look at those gaps, find the funding for those gaps. It's a small crime problem in the enterprise, just like it is in a way else. But one of the many things that we're doing is I talk to the chief, we're kind of upping our patrols in the various areas. Of course, we will have a police department, just like any other department, has lost a lot of people going into other areas. But the main thing that what we are trying to do is to keep down disturbances and that we try to talk to those who we feel like that are going to be involved in different things. And that way we are able to keep ourselves visible in the various communities and that's how we can help solve that problem. That's a good question and that's one is difficult. I think any city right now, if they really want to be honest with themselves, probably has issues that they need to deal with. One of the ways that you ever deal with any problem is first you have to admit that there is a problem. Then you can begin to tackle that issue. What I believe we need to do is get together with our police department. We have got to have quality community relations with our citizens. I would like to know that we can put our police force out there in any neighborhood and enterprise, that they'll be able to walk that beat, talk to the citizens, the people that live in those neighborhoods, talk to people, build a relationship with the citizens in each of those neighborhoods, because I think that's the key, is having the citizens help you, and they can themselves can police a lot of the things themselves just by having a good relationship with the police department, so they'll know that, hey, that police department is there to help us. I think there's a crime problem all across the United States. I think we've lost some of our values. Uh, that we need to reinstill not only in our young people but in the adults as well. Uh, we enterprise has problems just like everybody else. Uh, one thing that we are facing is the fact that we have a shortage of police officers. Due to the way the society is today and what they have to put up with, we are short police officers. One thing we need to do is to increase our police force and get it up to, to, to standard as far as uh, the uh, number of police officers we have. We've been very fortunate. We have a great police department, but they need some help. To watch tonight's interviews again or to watch parts one and two, visit dothanfirst.com.